Welcome to the course Pattern Making Technique 1 Menswear. In this course you will understand the concepts of pattern making techniques for menswear and learn how to make patterns for basic shirt and trouser. The theoretical knowledge and practical exposure given in this course will enable you to make patterns of your own. The first unit introduction to pattern making comprises of five modules and a final review section that makes you to produce patterns for different measurements and styles. By the end of this unit, students will be able to distinguish menswear, describe menswear patterns, identify various body types for men, recall appropriate terms used in pattern making, list standard measurements used in various body types for pattern making, match a tool for an appropriate function. The first module introduces you to menswear. Menswear has traditionally been simple and straightforward. However, in recent years, men's styling has changed significantly due to male consumers increased desire for new modern style. This makes it necessary to identify the need for a tool to facilitate a more comprehensive understanding for men wear styling. This makes it necessary to identify the need for a tool to facilitate a more comprehensive understanding for men's wear styling details compared to the tools used in women's wear. Although men's wear traditionally employed relatively simple designs and silhouettes compared to women's way, rapid changes in fashion trends began to climb an overgrowing share of the men's way market. This trend dramatically influenced industry standards and created a highlighted. This trend dramatically influenced industry standards and created a high trend awareness among male consumers creating interest in male fa fashion and appearance. Thus, the marketing strategy for menswear became more detailed and fashion oriented and the modern style niche was born. Obviously, men have different body shape from women and thus pattern for men cannot be altered using women's pattern making methods which dominate the pattern making reference market. Most noticeably, men's main fashion concerns vary greatly from those of women. Women's wear largely aims to make wearers look and feel petite and attractive, but men's wear strives to display a masculine appearance, even in the muslin fit category. Measuring properly is often a challenge for learners, but this course addresses this problem by providing instructional pictures that illustrate key measurement locations. As the male anatomy presents several issues such as the chest, broad shoulders, thick waist and gentiles, each requiring their own unique pattern making methods, this course addresses these issues. The key locations shown in the pictures allows candidate to measure properly on all body types. Manual pattern making is a diagrammatic representation of the way of the parts of a garment. For example, front, back, yoke, sleeve, cuffs, etc. are constructed in pattern making. This delivers the working plan to produce garment. The process involves taking measurements from a person, body, body form or standard measurement chart. Patterns can be developed by adopting various methods, techniques as per the suitability and convenience of garment variant. These are the variants widely adopted in the garment industry which are as follows pattern drafting, pattern draping and flat pattern making. Pattern drafting using actual body size or standard measurement chart 
derived from anthropometric studies, pattern draping using standard body form of required size, flat pattern making using basic set of pattern slopers developed with standard measurements. In this course, the pattern draft technique will be used for developing the patterns. Flat sketches, unlike illustrations, provide better instruction by clearly showing details and accurate proportions. Flat sketches serve as a communication tool between design and pattern making. Alphabetical instruction codes were used as a means to provide easy understanding of instructions. Standard measurements of size 38 shirt and pant measurements are being used. This will be useful to learners who are focused on practicing design details and who do not wish to develop personalized patterns. Now let's move to review the importance of body types in pattern making. A body type is the relationship of human body shape to body size. Every physical characteristic in a person physic can be determining factor of the body type, whether it is height, weight or lower to upper body ratio. Compared to women's bodies, men's bodies are generally taller and have wider shoulders, narrower hips, a lower position of the waist and higher position of the knees. Additionally, the form of muscle and bone is more prominent because men typically have less body fat than women. The distribution of body fat is more in the upper torso rather than the lower torso and in the abdomen rather than the hips. Usually three body types being followed in menswear pattern making are ectomorph, mesomorph and endomorph. Ectomorph slim, future saw, lean, fat, ectomorph. Slim features are lean, flat chest, small chest. Mesomorph, standard, features are well defined, hard body, wider shoulder, bigger chest. Endomorph, round, features are round, short and stocky, hip, waist and shoulder similar. In the industry, each clothing brand has a unique body chart that fits the self concept of the brand. Typically, brands have developed their own measurement standards, for example, SML XL sizes. These are based on three height groups significantly. Typically, brands have developed their own measurement standards in sizes like SML XL. These are based on three height groups, significantly short, regular and tall. This module reviews the terms used in pattern making. The explanation of these terms comprises the terms most commonly used. Pattern making is a highly developed technical skill requiring precision in the drafting and development process. It also necessitates an understanding of body proportions and their measurements. Ease allowance is the excess provided in the pattern for body movements based on fits. For example, slim fit, medium fit and loose fit. Seam is the joint that appears at every alignment of the garment parts. For example, hamul seam, side seam, shoulder seam, etc. Seam allowance. The fabric margin allowed to be seven to make a seam. For example, joining of front and back at sides of the garment. Dot is a cone shaped piece of fabric that is sewn together tapering to a point to fit the body. Dot allowance is the excess provided to form a dot. For example, waist dot provided at waistline in the back leg and back shirt dots. Dot intake is the amount of excess provided to stitch a dot. 
dot legs are the lines that indicate the sieve line of the dot. Vanishing point is the point where the stitch line of the dot ends. Dot cap is the shape that appears after truing of the dot. Pleats are overlapping fabric that is unpressed to fall softly or partially stitched for a crisp finish to provide ease. Cap is the excess provided in the sleeve pattern to accommodate smooth harmul curve while attaching the sleeve to the body in stipulated stretch. Cap height is the depth provided from sleeve top to bicep. Hamul is the round opening where sleeve is sewn. Bicep is the upper arm, also called muzzle. Elbow is the circumference of the sleeve at a elbow level. Wrist is the circumference of the sleeve at the wrist level. Blending is the process to blend two angular lines into smooth line. Truing is the process of joining two or more marking on the pattern for fabric. Selvage is the two finished edges in a fabric to avoid raveling of the yarn. Grain line corresponding to the weaves of fabric. Length grains are parallel to the selvage of the fabric and are perpendicular to the flow. They are called the warp. Cross grains are perpendicular to the selvage and parallel to the flow. These are called the weft. Bias grain is the off grain with various angles to the selvage. True bias is also off grain with 45 degree angle to the selvage. Notch is a short line or notch positioned on seams, fold lines, balancing of parts, etc. Horizontal balance line is the line provided on the pattern to control the balance of the garment. Side seam is situated at the sides of the garments. For example, shirt side seam trouser side seam etc. Inseam is the seam that is located under the arm and legs. For example, underarm of the sleeve and in leg of the trouser. Placket is the finished edge of the front opening, sleeve opening etc. For example, front placket and the sleeve placket. Collar is a piece of fabric of various sizes and shapes sewn into the neckline of a garment. Collar band is the part of the collar which allows to take the role of the collar. Cuff is the part of the sleeve given to encircle the wrist of the arm. Yoke is a separate seamed portion of the garment across the front and back shoulder. Opening is a functional means of getting into a garment. Now let us move on to standard measurements. The measurements are in proportion in respect to age. This can be categorized by height and girth. This chart gives the standard measurement being used in ready to wear garments in India. Finally, let us learn about the supplies and tools used in pattern making as well their applications, supplies, pattern paper, muslin fabric, pencil, preferably regular pencils, erasers, cello tape, sharpener, push pins, draping pins, tools, rulers, measure tape, foot ruler, two foot and uh, tools are essential to get accurate patterns and measurements which are comprising rulers, measure tape, foot ruler, 2 and 4 foot, L scale, triangles, set square 45 and 90 degree scissors, paper scissors 6 inch, fabric scissors 10 inch and trimmer. Curve vary French curve, hip curve, other tools, tracing wheel, notch player, owl, seam ripper, stapler, 
The applications and uses of these tools will be shown while drafting patterns. You have come to the end of this unit. To summarize, in this unit, you have been given an overview of menswear. This unit reviewed the different body types as well as frequently used terms in pattern making. The module on standard measurements gives proportions of each measurement being used in various body types. Finally, the module on supplies and tools explored the application of various tools used in pattern making. Thank you.